And there's the toy department over there, Mr. Gailey. You certainly know all about Macy's store, don't you, Susan? Well, that's because my mother works here. But I still think it's silly bringing me here to see Santa Claus. Well, I just feel that when you talk to him, you might... Okay, Mr. Gailey. I'm certainly willing to try. Well, well, what a fine young lady, eh? What's your name, little girl? Susan Walker. What's yours? Mine? Chris Kringle. I'm Santa Claus. Mmm. Oh, oh, you don't believe that, eh? Uh Uh-uh. You see, my mother's Mrs. Walker. Oh, 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 oh. But I must say you're the best-looking Santa Claus I've ever seen. Really? Your beard, for instance. It doesn't have one of those things that goes over your ears. (laughs) That's because it's real. Just like I'm really Santa Claus. Now, go ahead. Pull it. Oh, my... My goodness, it is real. (laughs) Yes, yeah. And now what would you like me to bring you for Christmas? Nothing, thank you. Whatever I want, my mother will get. If it's sensible and doesn't cost too much. That's quite right, Susan. Oh, hello, Mother. Hello, Mr. Mr. Gailey. Hello. um, The explanation for all this is very simple. Your maid's mother sprained her ankle. She had to go home, so she asked me to bring Susie down to you. And as long as we were here, I... I figured we might as well say hello to Santa Claus. He has real whiskers, Mother. Susan, would you mind standing over there a minute? If you want me to. I, um, I shouldn't have brought Susie to see Santa, is that it? Now you're making me feel completely heartless. I'm sorry. Don't you see, I tell Susan that Santa Claus is a myth. And you show her a very convincing old man with real whiskers. Well, whom is she to believe? Yeah, that's right, isn't it? When Susan was a baby, her father and I were divorced. And ever since then, I've protected my child by teaching her realities. If you don't believe in fairy tales and fantasy, you can never be hurt or disillusioned. We were talking about Susie, Mrs. Walker. And I must ask you to let me raise her as I see fit. All right, dear. The store's going to close soon. We'll run along to my office. Alfred said you wanted to see me, Mrs. Walker. Oh, um, oh, yes. Come in. I, um, uh, I'd be grateful if you would please tell Susan that you're not really Santa Claus, that there actually is no such person. Oh, but Mrs. Walker, not only is there such a person, but here I am to prove it. No, 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 no. You misunderstand. I, I want you to tell her the truth. Now, um, uh, what's your real name? Chris Kringle. And I always tell the truth. Susan, I'll bet you're in the first grade. Second grade? I mean your real name. Well, that is my real name. My goodness, the second grade? Very well. I have your employment card right here. I'd look it up on that. Mm. That's a very cute dress you have on, Susan. It's for Macy's. We get 10% off. Oh. So, (coughs) you always tell the truth, do you? Mm -hmm. Look at your employment card. Name, Chris Kringle. Address, Brooks Memorial Home, Great Neck, Long Island. You may call the home if you care to confirm that, Mrs. Walker. It's a home for elderly gentlemen. Would you also like me to confirm this? What's that? Date of birth. As old as my tongue and a little bit older than my teeth. (laughs) Place of birth. North Pole. Now, really. Why, I believe you doubt me, Mrs. Walker. And this tops everything. Next of kin. Oh, that. Dasher, dancer, prancer, and vixen. I'm sorry to have to do this, Mr. Um, um, Kringle. But the uh, the Santa Claus that we had two years ago is back in town, and I feel that we owe it to him to. Uh, what have I done something wrong? Uh, no, no, no. It's it's just that we feel. Uh, oh, excuse me. Hello. Uh, this is Mr. Shellhammer, Mrs. Walker. Drop whatever you're doing. Mr. Macy wants to see us immediately. Oh, I'll be right up. Um, I'm afraid I'll have to be very abrupt with you. I have to see Mr. Macy. You'll be paid for the full week, Mr. Kringle, and uh, I'll send your check to that address. Oh, uh, come right in, Mrs. Walker, Mr. Shellhammer. Thank you, Mr. Macy. Now, about this new policy you two initiated. Uh, oh. Macy's Santa Claus sending customers to Gimbal. Well, I, I, I can explain everything, Mr. Macy. You don't have to explain a thing. Just look at my desk. Forty-two telegrams and over 500 phone calls. Grateful parents expressing undying gratitude to Macy's department store. Why, you you don't say. From now on, not only will our Santa Claus continue in this manner, but every salesperson in the entire store. You mean that if we haven't got what the customer asks for, we're to... We're to send him where he can get it. 
No high pressuring and forcing a customer to take something he doesn't really want. I think that's wonderful, Mr. Mason. Why, we'll be known as, uh, as the helpful store, the friendly store. The store that places public service ahead of profits. And consequently, we will make more profits than ever. <laughs> As for you, Mrs. Walker and Mr. Shellhammer, you'll find a more practical expression of my gratitude in your Christmas envelope. Oh, oh thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Yes. And tell that wonderful Santa Claus I won't forget him either. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I'll tell him myself in the morning. Uh, yes, indeed, Mr. Macy. Good night. Good night. Good, good, good night, Mr. Macy. And thank you again, sir. Oh, Imagine a bonus. Yes. Well, what's the matter with you? Mr. Shellhammer, I just fired him. Who? Santa Claus. Oh, no, 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 no. No, you couldn't have. But I did. He, he's crazy, <laughs> Mr. Shellhammer. He really thinks he is Santa Claus. I don't care if he thinks he, he's the Easter Bunny. Find him. <laughs> Act two of Miracle on 34th Street will continue in a moment. Well, Libby, have you given Santa your Christmas list? Yes, indeed, John. And number one on my list is a pair of Chinese pajamas with a three-quarter coat and little upstanding collar. Just like the ones Mata Torin wears in Rogue's Regiment. Perhaps you'd better have the wardrobe mistress of Universal International show Santa what you mean. Well, I'm sure Dick Powell or Stephen McNally could give him a good description. They found Marta very glamorous in this modern story of the French Foreign Legion. And what a villain Vincent Price is in Rogue's Regiment. Mm -hmm. I was on the edge of my seat through the whole picture. And you talk about a pair of pajamas. <laughs> well, they were very special. Marta liked them so well, she had four pairs made for her personal wardrobe. And she was delighted when they told her she could lux them. That's about the easiest care in the world. Especially now with the new tiny diamonds of lux. Another triumph of the famous Lever Laboratories. These tiny diamonds are so much faster, they burst into suds the instant water touches them. And make wonderfully rich suds that last and last. Don't colors look marvelous when they're luxed? So fresh and new. No wonder smart girls say they won't risk wrong washing methods. Tests prove that with gentle care with Lux Flakes really makes a difference. Lux slips in 90s stayed new looking three times as long. And that's just like getting three pretty slips for the price of one. A really thoughtful Santa would put a box of Lux Flakes in every lingerie gift next Friday night. Here's our producer, Mr. William Keeley. Act two of Miracle on 34th Street, starring Marina O'Hara as Doris, John Payne as Fred, and Edmund Gwen as Chris Kringle. It was a frantic few hours that Doris spent last night rushing out to the Brooks Memorial Home in Long Island and assuring Chris Kringle that Macy's wanted him back as Santa Claus. Now Chris is again presiding over the crowded toy department. While in her office, Doris and Mr. Shellhammer... Don't you understand, Mr. Shellhammer? That old man with the nice white whiskers insists that he is Santa Claus. Why, he's out of his mind. What if he should have a... A fit or something. Oh, no, I've got to tell Mr. Macy. Yes, but maybe he's only a little crazy. Anyway, you can't be sure until he's examined. We'll send him to Mr. Sawyer. Sawyer? In personnel. He's paid to examine employees, isn't he? And now, by the way, <laughs> what do you think of this? What is it? A full-page ad Macy's is running in tomorrow's newspapers. Macy's is running it? But it's all about the other stores, Gimbel's and Saks I know, and... I know. Mr. Macy's idea to help our customers find what they want. It's revolting, isn't it? That Santa Claus certainly has started something. Oh, well. I'll get a hold of him in his lunch hour and send him up to Mr. Sawyer. Mr. Sawyer? 